I called Lana. I said the money tree is on fire from the soil. I honestly, I don't care how crazy this sounds. I felt I was in danger. I felt like this thing wants to kill me. Like, or Tyler. Here in my garden of <sighs> I genuinely don't think that I have ever been so nervous to sit down and film a video. It's honestly something that I didn't even know if I was going to talk about or share with you guys, but I've taken you along this entire journey from the very beginning of moving into this house and the things that were transpiring over the last three years. But I have never been so scared in my entire life to talk about something again because everything that happened over the last bit that ended in us quickly moving out of that house, like no word of an exaggeration, it has terrified me and I can say with complete transparency and honesty, I feel very like nervous to talk about it. This video is absolutely not clickbait. I am coming to you guys from the corner of my chaotic current office right now. Um, we just moved in two weeks ago to our new place and I can say for those of you who are going to be worried that this has been the best thing that could have happened. I don't, or I wouldn't change all of these awful, traumatic, and like life-threatening things that have happened over the last month if it means that I'm going to end up here every time. Um, so that's a great feeling to have. But what I'm about to share with you quite literally sounds as though it's something out of a horror film, an actual horror film. I know there's going to be so many people who are not going to believe what I'm about to share with you, and that's completely okay, but this stuff is no joke, and I'm going to be completely transparent about what I discovered as to why this haunting got to the point that it did, what it was, and my role in summoning it. So with that being said, hi my angels, it's Haley Reese. Welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so grateful that you are here and I am so grateful that I am here and that I am alive and well and that everyone I love is alive and well and that I'm in a space now that I feel safe and comfortable in. If you've been on my channel at all over the last three years, at one point or another, I'm sure that you've seen um, videos on the fact that the home that I moved into appeared to be haunted. Now, one thing about those videos that I was making throughout the past three years is that I truly believed with full confidence that the hauntings that I was experiencing were related to the land and that it was spirits that came in and out of the house. And while there were spirits that did come in and out of the house, it was a lot worse than I thought and it wasn't until I tried to leave that I realized it. And it just sounds so crazy saying this out loud because it just, even I sit back and I'm like, I cannot believe this. So this is going to be a lengthy video. I'm going to do my absolute best to try to remember everything that happened. A lot of these things were wholeheartedly traumatic for me and not just me, but also my family and Tyler and just everyone who's been involved with it. The last month has been insane and I'm going to just get into it and do my best to recall it. But I will say this place is getting cleansed the second I am done talking about this because I could cry right now. Oh my gosh. Like reminiscing on how dark this really is. And I just, I never want to feel that way again. On a much lighter note though, before we get into today's video, I am so excited to share today's video sponsor with you guys because despite being so excited to be partnering up with them, they were an absolute lifesaver during this past month and that is June's Journey. I have been playing June's Journey nonstop 
for the last month as like a way to unwind and take my mind off of things. And so I'm so excited to share June's journey with you guys. June's Journey is a hidden object mystery game with a captivating detective storyline taking you back to the glamour of the 1920s with a really awesome cast of diverse characters. Each scene takes you deeper and deeper into an absolutely captivating murder mystery. The story sets the main protagonist, June Parker, on a quest to solve the murder of her sister while also discovering some family secrets along the way. Honest to goodness, you guys, the game is so much fun to play. I find it just really relaxing to play, but I also love that it's challenging without being too difficult. The short five years since June's Journey's release, they already have 30 million fans across the world. And honestly, after getting back into it, I can completely see why. I will have a link at the very top of my description where you can download and play June's Journey. I truly think that you will absolutely love it just as much as I do. And again, thank you so much to June's Journey for sponsoring today's video, but for also keeping my mind off of everything that's been happening as best as you possibly could. But without further ado, Let's get into the chaos that has been around the last month. All right, I've got myself super cozy here. I'm in sweatpants, a cozy cardigan, and slippers because I just wanna feel as like comfortable talking about this as possible. You guys may be thinking that I'm being dramatic right now or that I'm just doing this for clickbait, but I encourage you to really listen to everything that happened to the very end of this video. The things that have happened to both myself, Tyler, and my family have been so crazy that I wouldn't even speak them into existence for the most viral video in the world if they were not what happened to us. So I guess I should start back at kind of my decision to move and how that spiraled the house out of control. If you guys have been on my channel watching this series for a while, you would know that like over the past three years, things have been getting darker, but also kind of just staying the same in a sense as well. Every couple of months, strange things would happen in my home, leading me to believe that, like I said, there was like a spirit around the area that due to the nature of my work would pop in and out. And there were times that it was really scary, but I think over the last three years, I didn't take in like how serious it all was. So kind of backtracking for one second, I moved into this house at the very beginning of 2020. That was a very dark year for many people and I kind of attributed my declining mental health and energy and the energy in my space to that. I thought, oh, it's just a dark time. It was bad timing to move. I didn't really think too much of it until creepy, strange things started to happen and I started to share them with you guys. Um, I have not been fully honest with myself and with, well, no, I think I was honest with myself, but I wasn't fully honest with even people in my life about how dark this house actually felt to me. Not just like as far as lighting goes, because in general, the house was a lot darker once I had moved in than I'd realized and I thrive in light environments, but just the energy right from the beginning felt off. But again, I, I, put that towards the fact of everything that was going on that first year. But as the years kept going on, I noticed myself severely changing alongside with all of these strange things that would happen. And I didn't talk about it a lot or how much I despised that house because I am massive on gratitude. And I didn't want it to come off as ungrateful for the beautiful home that I was living in. I didn't want anyone to think, Oh, like, you know, here she is in this four bedroom house and he, she's complaining that she doesn't like it. So I would tell people like, yeah, like I, I it's not really the vibe. I had honestly some regrets moving in. I wished I would have stayed in my condo, but I never really voiced that to anybody. And, um, I just felt very heavy. Flash forward to, I believe it was September of 2020. That was the very first time that I met Lana, which is wild to me that that's the first time that we met because she's like family to me now. But I had my very first reading with Lana in, I believe, September of 2020. And Lana, for those of you who aren't aware, 
is not only a great friend of mine, but the most gifted evidential medium I have ever encountered in my life. She is the real freaking deal. Honestly, check her out on YouTube if you haven't. Her channel is The Hawk and I. Um, I'll have it linked in my description for you. But one of the very first things that she said in this reading to me, you need out of that house. Those were her, I'm getting goosebumps. Those were her exact words. Your angels do not want you in that house. I don't know if it's that you need to get an office outside of it, but I have alarm bells. That's what she told me. And you guys can ask her, like, this is the God's honest truth. She was like, I have alarm bells going off with you in this house. And I wanted to move pretty much within the first year of living there. I wanted to move, but I am a creature of habit. I don't do well with change. The world was still crazy. Um, I My mental health had been declining, so the idea of an expensive move like that was very overwhelming to me. And so despite being constantly told that I needed out of that house, because that was not the only time that she said it, we became friends and she would message and call me randomly, Haley, alarm bells are going off. You need out of that house. You need out of the house. I don't know what it is, but you need out. And even Lana, like I would tell her about those strange things and the hauntings and she would say, yeah, there are spirits that come in and out of your house. Um, but even when she would come into my house, we would only go up to my office and there's a reason that I'm saying this. And guys, this sounds so like not crazy yet. Just bear with me. There's a reason I have to go in this order. So I kept being told that I needed out of the house. I knew in my heart I needed out of the house. Um, I was having a lot of bad dreams. Um, I was becoming just this shell of myself and people could see it. I was getting tons of comments on YouTube saying like, are you good? Like your light isn't as bright. Like, is everything okay? And I felt like the energy was being sucked out of me, but I also understand that I struggle with anxiety and OCD. So I'm not somebody, despite what you guys see on my channel, who just thinks everything is like paranormal or, or things of that nature. So again, I just kept staying in the house, staying in the house. Um, but things just started getting worse recently. And it's interesting because we'll get there. But I started to get really sick all the time. Um, and we're not talking like sick that can really be explained like by a doctor. Like I was always nauseous, throwing up. Um, for a minute there I was even like, am I pregnant? Like why am I feeling so sick all the time? I had no energy. But then Tyler expressed to me that he was feeling the same way. And again, spoke to my doctor like this wasn't, we thought it was anxiety. But I just started feeling like, this is gonna sound crazy, but now I, I don't think it's crazy. I started feeling like something like wanted my light to be completely dimmed and like wanted me to give up what I was doing. Like, and that sounds so dramatic, but like just hear me out guys, like the things that end up happening. So I woke up one day and I was throwing up. This was like a month or month or a half. Oh my goodness, can I speak? This was like a month um, and a half ago. And I had broken my promise to you guys for uploads again. And it was weird because I had made my schedule. I was so inspired. I made the schedule outside of the house, okay? A common theme for Tyler and I that we wouldn't talk about a lot is that we'd be in the house and we'd be like arguing and feeling negative and uninspired. We would leave the house even for an hour or like to go get a coffee and that energy just diminished. Like it was like this house was just this like pit. And um, again, I don't want to come off as ungrateful, but just hear me out. So um, we end up, I, I was really not feeling good. So I made the decision to move. I had made it up in my head. I said, you know what? I don't care how hard this move is going to be. I don't care. I I'm going to move. I'm going to do the two month thing. And in two months, I want to be somewhere else. So we went and looked at another condo at first, applied for it. And they just like didn't even get back to me like at all, which was fine. Um, but I started having these nightmares saying like, that I couldn't leave the house, that I wasn't able to leave the house or whatever. And, and again, this could have been my subconscious feeling like I wasn't going to ever leave that house, right? There's a lot of things that this could be, but this gets crazy. So I, uh, I had made the decision to move and then ended up finding this place, which I cannot wait to show you guys on like daily Haley and everything. It's my dream place. I'm so grateful. Applied for the place and wasn't hearing back for like, I think it was like a week or two. Um, but I'd already given like my, my certified check and all this stuff. So I was like, why am I, why am I not hearing this? And all these things are just going wrong in my house. Like 
crazy things, but not even worth the energy because of the crazy stuff that ends up happening. And uh, finally get the news that we got the, the place. And I just felt like this insane relief in me. Like I can't even like put it into words, this insane relief in me. But then I also started to feel like, oh my God, this house doesn't want me to go. Like I can't explain the energy. It, but even people when they came to help me move were like, I thought you were exaggerating at times. This place, guys, I'm jumping ahead here for a second, but my mom came to help me um, pack and whatnot. And I had colorful, oh my goodness, I had California shutters on all of the windows. You would open them and within seconds, they would slam shut as if wanting to keep the place dark and they weren't broken. Like it, it was just starting to do this when I was gonna leave and my mom witnessed it. But I just was like, I need to get out of this house, but I kept having this bad feeling. Tyler all of a sudden couldn't sleep and this is where it gets creepy. He kept feeling like something was over top of him at night. There's a reason I'm telling you this. I was having nightmares, um, feeling sicker. I felt like I had no energy to pack. Like I had to, I was like packing, but I had to like keep resting and, and laying down. And I'm like, why am I feeling like this? And just this awful feeling. So another thing that started happening that I hadn't told anybody about, okay? And there's a reason I'm explaining that. There was a section of our kitchen that randomly during this time, Tyler and I, anytime we walked over to it, if he walked over to that section, he would start getting like angry towards me and vice versa. It was happening with me too. And there was one night we were in that section of the kitchen. We just made dinner. We were happy go lucky. We don't fight. Like we're not a couple that fights. We go over to this section of the kitchen and we start arguing and like just spewing nasty things at each other. And all of a sudden Tyler looks at me and goes, Haley, we need to leave this part of the house. We left that part of the house and all of that anger, we, we couldn't even comprehend what we were fighting, but we didn't tell anyone this because it sounds crazy. So following this, Tyler ends up coming up to me and saying, um, I, I can't sleep. I feel like this darkness is getting darker. I want out of here as soon as possible. We're not staying the two months. We're packing up. We're, if we have to get out of here in 24 hours, we're doing it. I have a bad feeling, he said to me. That day, Tyler had an accident. And I don't wanna talk about the accident, um, but I will say it was the scariest like thing that I've experienced in a very, very long time. It could have been so bad. And um, yeah, anyways, so there was an accident. And at this point, Lana's telling me, Haley, you cannot leave that house until every single item is cleansed. She goes, your angels are giving warning signs. You cannot leave that house until everything is cleansed and you guys are cleansed. And then once you're settled in the new place, um, I need to cleanse you there too. So I called her bawling about the accident and she was like, um, I need to come over and cleanse your house. So Lana comes over to cleanse the house and immediately when she walks in, she says, I need to start upstairs. I feel sick in your house. I feel so sick in your house. She gets upstairs and she literally says to me, I don't even know how you're living here. She went into my office, said my office wasn't bad, like energetically wise. Um, Tyler's was okay. And my guest bathroom, she said the energy made her sick. My bedroom, she literally said to me word for word, I don't know how you sleep in here. And I said, we haven't been sleeping. She goes, there's something above me. I didn't tell her that Tyler felt like something had been hovering above him. So she literally goes into my walk-in closet, says the energy in there is making her want to vomit. Um, same thing with the bathroom that you guys had seen the hand in and everything. And so she cleanses upstairs and whatnot. And uh, we go downstairs and she starts walking towards my kitchen and no word of a freaking lie. She says, there is a man in that corner and he is so jealous of you too. He wants to break you up so badly. He is so mad that I'm here and he is dark. So Lana had her singing bowl and she was doing it throughout the house. Guys, when she would get close to that corner, the singing bowl wouldn't play. He started fighting back with her energetically, literally like 
like she she was fighting with him she goes i feel like i'm gonna throw up tyler is on the couch he starts crying he can't control it he goes i'm gonna throw up he felt like terrible energy i'm shaking i didn't film a single thing of this because this is like how it's so real to me like oh it makes me emotional and i'm like who is he and tyler goes is he from the people before us or is he from the land she said no Haley conjured him and I was like, what do you mean? And she said that I covered a true crime case around a year and a half ago to do with murder. She said this man had never had love in his life ever. And when I had spoken about him in the case, he came and he became obsessed with me. Oh, it makes me sick. And he had this mentality of wanting to break Tyler and I up or ruin our lives to the where we end up not wanting to be together because he was angry at my love for Tyler because he thought if he couldn't have love in life, then who, like why could Tyler? And what makes me so crazy about it is I've been trying to rack my mind. So if you guys can think of like what case you think it was, she said it would have been around a year and a half ago. And I think she described the guy as tall, dark hair, all this. But as she's telling me about him, she goes, he's a smoker. Right at that moment, both Tyler and myself start smelling smoke. Not like making it up in our heads. My place smelled like stale cigarette smoke on someone's clothes. He wasn't wanting to leave. Lana literally was in the kitchen fighting with him to get him out. She ends up getting him out, but he was not happy about it. Lana said that I can never, so I'm really good at when I go out on investigations or I go to haunted locations, I'm very good at protecting myself and cleansing myself. I don't know why, and maybe this is idiotic of me, it never crossed my mind, not once, to cleanse myself after covering a true crime case. I never even thought of it. And I'm getting nauseous right now. Um, so I'll be doing that every time I film anything, I'll be cleansing myself. But she literally came over to me and was like, Haley, you cannot be talking about these things and not be protecting yourself better. So Lana leaves. This is where it gets crazy. This is like out of a horror film for me. I cannot explain it. I have, I didn't take a video of when it was happening, but I have like the, the evidence of the aftermath. So, oh, this gives me such chills. So Lana leaves and I wanted to go get some groceries. I was trying to convince Tyler to come with me. And Tyler's like, I just have a bad feeling. Like, I, I don't think I should go. He goes to go upstairs and he's telling me, Haley, I smell smoke. Like, what were you guys burning? And I was like, oh no, like there's incense in the bedroom, but we weren't burning anything in this side of the house. And um, like, there's nothing burning is what I meant. And so he's like, Haley, like I, I smell smoke. All of a sudden we look into his front office. My money tree that was in his office that Lan and I didn't go near, was smoking from the soil. It was on fire from the inside of the, I have chills, from the inside of the base of the tree. It was smoking on fire. And when I, we panicked, I didn't take a video. People are gonna say, why wouldn't you have videotaped that? Looking back, yeah, hindsight's 2020. It would have been crazy to have on camera. But in my head, I'm like, what the hell is happening? He's trying to burn our house down. So Tyler goes running and gets water immediately and starts putting out, it's sizzling. It's like, I look down and I will insert a clip right now for you guys. It was, oh, so I like the money tree. I hadn't swapped out the base of it yet. I want to get a nicer one, but it just currently is a plastic base. It burned straight through the plastic base and could have burned the house down. Like to be frank, my upstairs in my house had carpets and it was burning through and we have no freaking idea how. I called Lana. I said, the money tree is on fire from the soil. So I'm trying to see, so okay. So the next day, my mom and Jeremy come over and I'm telling them all about the experience and whatnot. But keep in mind, Lana had protected Tyler and I when she was there the day before. So my mom and Jeremy come over and they're helping me pack as quick as possible because now I honestly, I don't care how crazy this sounds, I felt I was in danger. I felt like this thing wants to kill me, like, or Tyler. Like, but which, 
between his accident and the fire starting like that. So I was just feeling sick. I wasn't able to sleep good. Um, I was panicking. So um, I had contacted the, the new place and I was like, can I move in a little early? They were like, yeah, that's fine. And I literally got a storage unit, you guys. A storage unit because I couldn't physically bring all of this into the condo in the time that I needed to. I needed out of there. Like, and, and we all felt this way. Even my mom's like, you need out of here. My uncle, the one who doesn't believe in the unbelievable, although I think he's coming around, was like, the energy is not good in here. Even my stepdad was like, this is not good. You guys need out. Like, something bad is gonna happen. So we're packing and we're rushing things over to the storage unit that I have to go through still because I wasn't gonna bring every single thing. You accumulate a lot of junk in a house and I didn't want it all here at once. So I literally go to storage unit, put things in the storage unit and moved into here. And um, I'm trying to think, oh, so then my mom and Jeremy were helping us to like get out as quick as possible. That night, I get a phone call from my mom and Jeremy freaking out. Jeremy's going, we need Lana to come over here or we need her to tell us what to do. Our whole house is smelling like cigarette smoke. Nobody in my mom's house smokes cigarettes, not one single person. And get this, my foster brother, who you guys know um, is very sensitive to the other side, was saying that there was a man in the house. So my mom calls Lana and asks her, did he follow us home? Yes, he did. So their place has been cleansed. Um, they cleansed everything and whatnot, and they haven't smelt the smoke or anything since. And what's even crazier is the day that I was um, leaving, Tyler had already left, so we did two different shifts. Tyler went and got everything out of the house with my uncle and my stepdad in the morning. And then I went with my mom and my uncle in the evening to just finish cleaning, like mop and all that stuff. And, um, I brought my sage and whatnot to cleanse myself because I was not getting in my vehicle after leaving that place. I just felt awful. Tyler had told me that when he was pulling away for the last time, because like I said, he came here and then I went, he said it literally felt like something from The Conjuring, looking back at this haunted pit of a house, like not even exaggerating you. And I felt the exact same way, the exact same way. And so I cleansed my mom, my uncle, me, and um, left the house and as I was driving away, it was like a movie. In front of me was a beautiful sunset with like bright and beautiful colors and in my rear view mirror was dark storm clouds. M my hands on the Bible. Like I'm not even exaggerating. I'm not trying to make this story interesting. It was such a traumatic time. Like I'm not even telling you guys every little detail, just the crazy things that I'm just like, how did that happen? The minute that I moved into this condo, all of my feelings that I was having changed. I feel excited about life. I feel healthy. I feel like I feel my body changing for the better. I feel safe, um, motivated. I wake up like feeling like me again slowly and I'm so glad that things went the way that they did because I don't know what would have happened to me, my relationships, my career, if I had stayed there even like another week. Like we up and moved an entire four bedroom house in one week, one week, and got a storage unit and did the most. Okay, sorry if my frame just like completely changed. My camera just died, which tends to happen more often than not. Um, when I'm talking about like high energy things, but that's probably also just my cue that I've been rambling and talking too much and should wrap it all up. Basically, we're out of there. I could not feel any more relieved, even if half of that stuff was just coincidence or unrelated to a haunting. That house was just not good for my mental health. I'm grateful for a roof over my head and the time spent there. I learned so much about myself and, um, what I really want to get out of life, but I'm super excited for this new adventure. It feels so right. Again, I felt better in one day here than I felt in the entire three years there. And that says so much. So expect tons of content. Um, that is the closing of a chapter of that haunted house. 
safe to say I do not feel like there's any haunting here, which I am relieved for. I will go seek out the ghosts. They can put a halt to seeking me out. And I'm definitely going to be a lot more careful when it comes to even just talking about certain cases because it just slipped my mind. So Lana, if you are watching this, thank you. I appreciate you. I can't even tell you how grateful I am for that cleansing. Um, Tyler is going to be also filming a video for his channel talking about his experience. So I would definitely subscribe to Tyler Medeiros TV. I will have a video or a link to his channel also down in my description box. But yes, that is the closing of a chapter that I could not be any more excited to close. And um, I can't even tell you how grateful I am that there should be no more haunted house videos. As much as I know that you guys were enjoying them, it was a very, very dark reality. And I mean, even just my plant catching on fire like that with no cause, it was starting to feel very dangerous to me. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this update and are excited for the new content. Also, while we're on that subject, I'm gonna be setting up a really nice, this will not be my film setup. Um, so if you guys have any suggestions for what type of um, filming setup you would like to see from me, I'm open to it down below, as well as any video requests. Would definitely love to hear them. Once again, I would absolutely love to thank June's Journey for sponsoring this video. I will have a link at the very top of my description where you can download June's Journey for free and get to playing it today. So thank you so much to June's Journey for sponsoring and for being like a really awesome distraction during a really awful couple of months. Um, but yeah, if you guys are new to my channel or you are just not yet subscribed but you do enjoy my content, I would seriously love it if you would go ahead and click that subscribe button and please give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it, even though I certainly didn't. <laughs> um, until next time, I love you guys so very much. Remember my loves, do all things with kindness and I will see you very soon with another video. Bye guys.